What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Daily Grey. Now, I was gonna start this episode this morning, however, this morning was a fucking tense morning. I to cut, oh Jesus Christ, hello Jack. To cut a very long story short, um, I, I was desperately looking for a cardiologist that would see Khaleesi and actually help. Because as soon as you mention the word working dog, the words working dog, um, all of them just immediately give you 300,000 excuses of why they can't see her for the next 10 years. You know, we're, actually, we're actually really busy now. Uh, our vet's on holiday. Yeah, shut up, of course he is. You don't want to deal with a working dog because you're a pussball. Um, literally lo loads and loads of vets we've had the same thing with. So I got some recommendations on Sarah Smith Cardiology. And I spoke to her on Monday and she said, I can see you on Wednesday morning. So we drove through to Derby this morning to get ultrasounds done. Now, a lot of you will have seen the results on Facebook already. Um, we had ultrasounds done, uh, echocardiogram done, not DCM, which is banging news. Like I said, I was gonna start filming this morning and, and film the, the scan. And in hindsight, I wish I had have done. I didn't know if it was gonna be DCM. And if it was DCM, you would not be seeing a video from me for the foreseeable future, at least, if ever again. Um, so yeah, not DCM. So she's now in a seven day heart monitor. She's got the electrodes on and I've got to plug them in in a minute, which is gonna be fun. Because Wrigley Malinois and plugging electrodes in is not that nice, mate. Not the easiest job in the world. That's the one, isn't it, Jackie? A nice. Like a good ear rub, don't you? Yeah, so banging news. Um, now with this heart monitor on, I've got a trainer as normal-ish. I've got to do some bike work with her. I've got to do bike work in a harness, bike work in a collar, bike work in a chain, bike work off lead, leg work, bicep work, flirt, pull, ball, obedience. And I've got to log all the times down and see what we got. Now I'm hoping something comes back of this. If it doesn't, then we've got to start looking down the neurological route and that is also not good news. We'll see. Right, I didn't film anything else yesterday, so it's now the next day. And so I have a different colour t-shirt on. Um, yeah, I didn't film, uh, let me get to I didn't film anything at all. Just, just didn't, just didn't. I trained Khaleesi, uh, and then I flirt pulled them both later on in the day. Uh, I trained Flack earlier. And it was just sorting business stuff out. Obviously being, a, being away all day yesterday at the cardiologist means I have a shitload to catch up on. So, yesterday I got readings for both places sessions, I think. However, I went to check her electrodes last night and two of them had come off. So, Khaleesi, what we are going to do now, mate, what we are going to do now, you still got one on? No, she has, you know. We're gonna put new electrodes on and then vet wrap the whole fucking machine to her. <laughs> Got a funny feeling these things are designed for um, like pet shih tzus or pet grounds or something and not working Malinois because uh, they were surgically glued on and they, they, they just came off. You look sore, kid. Look sore where the electrodes are. You'll be okay, I'm sure. We've been scratching in the night. All right, Khaleesi, we need this. That's vet wrap. We need this, which is your a jacket. And, all right, we need them. We also need your electrodes. We need your electrodes, which are in here. I'm gonna take them. In fact, let's put you there. Bag jacket and we need her machine. Oh, 
fault in this room. Right. Let's go and uh, have a row with the Malinois. Oh, even that one's barely on, is it? Is my tripod near, kid? Tripod anywhere, Mr. Tripod? If I were a tripod, where would I be? Get off the bike suit, you can have a go later on. Uh, I'm dreading today because we've got to try and emulate Khaleesi's syncopic episodes. She's got a tug. For the sake of this halter monitor, and it's horrible. But hey ho, needs must. Get a grip of thy testes. Get on with it. Kid! Where have you gone? Felice! What the fuck? My dog run away? You better not run away, I just put a fortune on you. Come on. Kid, we're not playing tug right now, mate. Come on. Loss. Alright, let's go and uh, argue with this moment on. Argument over. Felice has her halter back on. She's now recording. Jesus. That was a fight and a half. Whew. I've got four electrodes left. So I might just order some more off I don't know, a vet website or something. I'm sure you can get them. Sure. Got that. Got some more vet wrap. So no doubt it's going to need doing again. Um, I've got the vet wrap on quite tight. So I'm hoping it doesn't hinder any circulation. Um, we'll see. I've got it on quite tight to keep them electrodes in place because I put it on loose. She moved. It's because where one of the electrodes sits right under her armpit. Can I sit here? Da. Da. Oi! Da. Aff. Aff. Blaf. One of the electrodes sits right under her armpit. As soon as she moves, it sort of flicks itself over and it's been pulling like hell. It's really red and sore. But six days, six more days to get through. We got some recordings yesterday. We'll get some recordings today. We'll see how we get on. Right, the client that you saw was Lola. Um, on the Facebook page, if you want to read the whole story, Dog Reactive, you saw the video. Um, fixed well. And then we were Khaleesi. And as you saw from the video, for those that haven't been following her story, she's been passing out on the leg bites when I've been out in it. As you can see from the video, biting like a crocodile, didn't miss a beat. Very, very frustrating because now likely the halter monitor will have just read a normal heart rate because nothing happened. Um, it was the one day we wanted something to happen. The whole point for this week is to try and force this syncopic episode um, where she faints so the heart rate monitor can, can read what's happening. 
Um, however, them electrodes lasted 10 minutes and then they were off again. So, <laughs> don't know what to do at this point. Um, the the vet wrap has been sliding back. She's been moving. So I think tomorrow I'm going to vet wrap around it and then vet wrap around her front to hopefully hold it in place a bit, but we'll see. Um, so, so that's where we're at now. Fuck. It's frustrating when you want it to happen and it doesn't. Like it's happened three times, probably on, on three or four leg sessions. But even the leg sessions where it didn't happen, she was very chewy and very apprehensive and, you know, a bit funny. Today, she's bitten that hard that she's um, bitten, bitten through the suit and ripped Shane's jeans. I don't get it. It's very strange. Time to feed the dogs. Jesus. Spencer's laid on my bed. Wee fucker. Right. Tonight, at Chef Gray's, we have a chicken mince and a liver for the flak, and a salmon mince and a liver for the cleasy. Now, and Luna just gets her usual dry food. I still haven't had Luna out in any of these videos. She is, however, doing very well, but like I said in one of the other videos, she's just very nervous when uh, she's not with her parents, for not of a better term. I'm a cat carrier, unless I'm film, so I'm going to talk here. Um, yeah, just nervy when she's away from her parents. So I'm just trying to keep her happy and keep her nice, keep her active and keep her doing stuff. Fun stuff. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, before anyone starts shouting like, oh my God, you need to feed Bone as well. I know. However, you don't need to feed perfectly balanced every day. You need to feed balanced over a week or over a month or you know, over an amount of time. So tomorrow they'll get uh, beef mince, probably, and lamb neck or chicken wings or something like that. Bone content, anyway. Let's feed these dogs. Loads of rabbits in my field. I'll show you after I've fed them. You see them all? Let's run into the bush. There they are. What the fuck do you want? This is not for you, mate. Also, William's in a muzzle, not because he bites, but to stop him eating as much grass. Oh, oh that's the ticket, bud. Because you're getting a bit fat, aren't you? You're not actually that fat now. But yeah, there's rabbits all over the field. You can't really see them very well. But they're there. There's loads in there. How's it going, mate? Oh, yes. Take it, innit? Good boy. You're not getting fed tonight, bud. Go eat some grass. This is not for you. This is meat. You don't want meat. Trust me, you don't want what's in there. You do not want... Also, I noticed something on the video yesterday, I'll tell you about that. Fast? Yes, good. Hit it. Yes. 
Yes. Go. Fast. Yes. Right, as you saw, pissing it down again. As you saw in that video, Khaleesi didn't miss a fucking beat again. <laughs> Baffling. So, although that's really good news and I don't want her passing out, like it's fucking horrendous every time she does, but I needed to with while this monitor's on. Um, so I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go and feed the dogs and it, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Misha's still not yet. I am um, pissed off that she didn't do it this time. That's what it is, I guess. So, I'll see you all shortly for another episode of Daily Grey. Daily Greys are going to be weird this week because my primary focus is on getting this dog worked with this halter on. Uh, so, they're not going to be fucking great. I'm not going to be talking loads. I'm stressed to the nines trying to get to the bottom of this. But we keep ploughing on. I'll see you all soon.